Hello everyone and welcome to the mobile only show. Today I'm with Daniel Stanich from Samsung. Hello Daniel. Hello Yanni, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here on the first. Um, I guess my first question is an open question. Who are you? How do you define yourself? How do you, how do you define your existence? <laughs> this is a really great <laughs> first question. So my name is Daniel Stanich. I'm working for uh, Samsung uh, Germany um, as a business development manager. Um, and I would say I'm a truly mobile only evangelist because I'm working for almost 15 years in the mobile, um, the mobile sector. So facing yeah. some uh, different uh, positions uh, in, in different uh, companies, uh, BlackBerry, like uh, Mobile Iron, and uh, today Samsung. And I'm at Samsung for now four years. All right, great. Do you have any kids? What's your favorite color? What's your song of the moment? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, my really favorite color is uh, blue, uh, or as you can see, light blue. <laughs> and um, I'm um, living near Stuttgart, so it's in the southwest of Germany. And um, I'm married uh, with my wife uh, for now, oh, we have 2024. Uh, 13 years and we are more than 20 years together and we have nice. two kids uh, two uh, two boys and uh, yeah so what really drives me is uh, my my um, love for technique for technology and I'm so happy that my two boys are also deep into technology and they love yeah, everything what is yes what is moving and um, so I'm really enjoying it Mm. And where does it come from, uh, this passion for technology? I know that for me, it comes from, I think, the very first Star Wars that my dad um, showed me when I was maybe five, four. Uh, we went to the theater, you know, they released the, the new ones. And, and I, that's where I knew that technology and, and thinking the, of the future uh, is really something I like. Where does it come from for you? Yeah, I would say my, my father was really um, a craft worker, so he was working um, a lot of with uh, different tools and, and uh, different uh, stuffs. So um, he was running his own company and when he bought the first computer, it was, whoa, a long time ago, <laughs> I can't remember when. And uh, so I was a little kid, I was um, nearly 10 years maybe. And uh, so I was totally fascinated about the computer and uh, about uh, the, uh, the people who were coming for installing uh, all the software and, and doing yeah. all the stuff on the computers. And this mm. is what catched me at the first stage. And uh, since then, I'm totally into technique and uh, I was working for a computer company at the beginning, um, creating computers, uh, at, at least five, uh, 15 uh, computers per day, I can remember. Um, and uh, so, and also what also uh, interests me are cars. Yeah, so I was, oh, really? when I was 18, uh, I was able to buy my, my own car. Um, I totally modified it and did everything on it. And um, I guess this is maybe the specialty in my case that I'm an IT guy, but I also like cars and, and technique and I'm not afraid of getting dirty and doing yeah. all, all the stuff around that. What was the car? It was an Alfa Romeo. Oh, Italian one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Italian car. <laughs> <laughs> and it was not broken. <laughs> it, it was running fine. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think of uh, EV of what? electric vehicle? Do, do you think electric vehicle are, 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 are vehicles are a good thing or uh, it's just uh, an outrage to like what a real car, a real car is? Yeah. So it's, it's not simple to answer. Um, I really love the technique. I love to drive electric cars. 
but I don't own one. Yeah, because mm -hmm. uh, for for my kind of driving, what I what I doing with the car and all the the mm -hmm. routes that I'm driving, I still need a diesel uh, car. And mm -hmm. uh, but um, I would say uh, for uh, so we are not, uh, at the moment uh, planning some. Um, uh, new cars uh, in, in our family and um, mm. we would go for an electric car for an EV for my wife because she doesn't have the long distances and um, she's flexible in this case so mm. um, it's not easy to answer so I like EVs but I'm not currently uh, using one will you <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that I will have one in the near future <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, I do have one uh, currently and f the, the comfort experience when you drive it is and see totally different. it's, it's yeah. really, really comfortable. However, yeah. when you want to do long distances, it's it could be a nightmare because you're looking for um, reliability. And clearly, when you go to a, a highway and that there's um, a broken uh, electric station and you have to go to the next yeah. one and you risk mm. your trip because you only have 15, 20 percent of battery left, uh, then it becomes uh, a discomfort. And uh, I had Definitely. the experience twice. And that's why I kind of miss having a, an, an engine, a real uh, uh, a motor a motor engine and and yeah. and be, be free you know to just go wh wherever i want and that's the point so i was just uh posting a, a story uh last week or two weeks ago um i was uh starting the day uh, jumping into my car and uh <laughs> i wanted to drive straight away and uh, this is the good thing on the ev cars so the evs are always uh, fully charged when you are at home and you're and you're starting the day um, but in my case, uh, I, yeah, I forgot to, to um, get some gas from, from my uh, car. And so I, I started the car and I just get the zero <laughs> on the display and say, hey, you have to immediately put, put some gas in it, in, uh, otherwise you will uh, uh, have a problem. And, mm. um, but the gas station is just yeah, a second away. Mm. And mm. after 10 minutes, I had again 1,300 uh, kilometers of range uh, what I can drive. And mm. this is something that is really comfortable in this case. So, as I said, mm. it's not easy to answer. Yeah. But, you know, there's one thing is I think that car enthusiasts uh, were a specific uh, group of people and tech enthusiasts were a specific group of people. And now with EVs, both are kind of merging because yes. uh, cars are more and more well, technology is computers. So um, I, th I see it in a good way. And, uh, and now when you go online and see the, the tech reviews and tech websites, they also talk about EVs. And I think that the transformation that the car industry is, uh, is uh, witnessing is kind of the same one we are um, witnessing on, on the mobile industry. What do you think? Oh, that's an interesting view. I mean, it took okay. maybe 10 years for people to accept, even if it's only still early adopters uh, driving mm -hmm. EVs now, but mm -hmm. maybe in 10 years it will be, it, it will be more uh, mainstream. But yeah, yeah. Uh, what I see uh, for 10 years, we also had a transformation in the mobile industry that is also going into one direction, which I think is the mobile as a PC. That's why this show is called the mobile only show. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah. it takes yeah, the case, same. You are, yeah. Yeah. It's the same. And it, you are it totally takes right. the same time. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And this is what we are working on. So um, when I'm on the stage and I'm doing also uh, podcasts and, and videos and, and uh, live on stage and uh, trying to um, evangelize uh, the industry to work mobile only um, yeah. because it's working and it's good. Yeah, but mm. it's really something that the people have to understand. Okay, I have everything on my phone. 
I can do everything yeah. on my S24. Um, I don't have to take some uh, notebooks with me. I don't have to uh, get some uh, um, yeah more uh, heavy stuff to carry around. So everything mm -hmm. what I need is just in this phone. And as you're just uh, displaying it on, on, the, on the screen, um, with DeX, we have everything in it. So you can just transform yeah. your, your phone into a PC. And you can do it um, wireless or with cables. And um, it's a pretty cool thing, but the, mm. it's it's not easy to get the people in it to understand that they can do everything with their phones. Mm. So for those who don't know, Samsung DeX, which stands for Desktop Experience, um, is a special feature that came up in 2017 on the Samsung Galaxy S8 yeah. that I have right over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it allows you to connect your smartphone to a screen and basically basically turn it into a PC. It's a PC mode, which is great. So I guess my question is, um, how uh, internally at Samsung, how did you perceive the, ar the arrival of uh, mobile only solutions uh, like DeX in 2017, 2018? Um, so I was not at Samsung at this time, but I was working for um, some uh, partners working with Samsung at this time. And for us who are in this uh, um, mobility uh, environment, it was a totally game changer for us. Yeah. So um, at this time I was at, uh, um, at Bechtle. Yeah. So it was a consulting group. Um, a system house in, in Germany and France and so in Europe. And um, it was a totally new way of working. Yeah. And um, it was quite, um, yeah, well, I would say confusing for, for the end customer because he has to understand, okay, I can transform my phone into a PC. Um, but for us who are in this uh, um, segment, it was, uh, it, it, it's changed the way we work totally, definitely. Mm. Was it a m more B2C, B2B uh, feature at first for Samsung? I would say it, it, uh, at first it was um, a game changer just to show your screen on a big TV, yeah, uh, that mm. you can uh, at home, you can share your, your photos and, and uh, everything in, in the family group and uh, talk about yeah. it. But in the B2B segment, um, it was maybe uh, difficult because not every application was there as we know it today. Mm, so uh, Microsoft Office um, is um, for me the most important application on, on my phone uh, because I'm doing everything in, in Office. So PowerPoint, Excel, Word, uh, Outlook and so on. So yeah. um, this is really, really cool um, and really, really important. Um, and I guess at the beginning it was not in that um, big. Um, it was uh, niche. In, in big, uh, yeah, it, it was uh, still a niche, and um, so it was more a B two C functionality. But what was interesting mm -hmm. is that uh, my wife was saying to me, um, it was I guess around 2020, 2021. When she said to me, uh, hey, um, we talked about uh, buying a new computer for her and so on. And then she said, hey, yeah. why should you why should buy a computer? I can do it with my phone. And so she totally understand, uh, underst understood it at this time. And this was for me. So, wow, OK, it's, it's not only me <laughs> who understand this. <laughs> mm. And how did the market perceive it at the time in 2017, 2018? So uh, I mean, the B2B, the B2B one, because obviously you are from this world. Yes, yes. So um, it begins that the VDI um, offerings were, were also really happy about that. So yeah. it was now possible to start um, Windows virtually on your phone. <laughs> you don't need a computer anymore. And you're just using the VDI from, um, from um, the partners. Yeah, so it was a huge step for them. 
So and, that's the reality. Um, it's it was considered as the best thin clients ever. Yes. To connect to Windows yeah. in the cloud. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I remember um, here at Miraxis, uh, we we had two people coming from AWS, and they flew mm -hmm. from the UK and the US to our city in Lyon just to have a lunch with our team. And they told us um, Miraxis and Dex uh, are the missing key to AWS strategy for um, mobile only and cloud computing. And this is something I did not understand at first, but um, I see it now more and more uh, as, a, as a reality, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, definitely. And um, do you use Samsung DeX yourself? Your <laughs> wife, is, is, is she still using it and do you use it yourself? Yes, definitely. So. Um, for now, I'm just uh, talking with you with my uh, Tab S9, and nice. um, I can also do it with my with my um, S24 uh, at, every day. And um, I really want to mobilize also everybody out there, just maybe to think about. Okay, you're traveling, so I'm traveling a lot. Yeah, so if I'm mm. going via plane or via train. And um, I'm in a different city. I'm heading to the to the hotel room, and in every hotel room you have a TV hanging on the on the wall. Yeah. True. Yeah. And um, I'm just getting out my my Samsung keyboard and my Bluetooth mouse, and connecting my my phone with um, with the TV on the wall because every TV. So I didn't get any TV in the last couple of years, which is not smart. So able to do mirror cast yeah. and so i'm just connecting my my phone wirelessly with with the with the tv in the hotel room i'm uh, jumping into the bed getting the keyboard on on my uh, uh on my knees and just yeah. typing and doing my emails and uh, uh, doing some preparations for the uh, in the powerpoints and so on and um if you imagine this you're doing this on a big screen and you don't have any computer around you because crazy. you're doing it, everything on just your phone. And yeah, this is crazy yeah. and this is really cool. Mm. I think the moment I realized really the, the power of it and, and how the mobile only vision is, uh, is true is really when I was in um, uh, quarantine for 14 days in Korea back in 2020. So I was mm -hmm. in a hotel room, couldn't access to the real Korea and I was locked, locked down uh, for 14 days that was mandatory mm -hmm. and i only had my smartphone a mirror book and the connected tv and fortunately i i, I was in discussion at the time with uh, microsoft and they wanted to release you know what was called x cloud but now it's called uh, well it's just xbox cloud uh, mm -hmm. basically an xbox in the cloud and I took the, the remote controller, the, the game controller with me. And in this small room, I could work, entertain and do <laughs> whatever I wanted just with a smartphone that I cast in on the a TV and play video games or uh, connect it to Mirrorbook and uh, do teams. And, and it was crazy. And that's the moment I realized Yep, that's it. In five to ten years, everybody will use this kind of devices. Definitely. And I guess we share the same vision, but how do you see the smartphone evolution in five to ten years? Like, how do you see, how do you imagine it, uh, whether it's the, the shape of it or the functionalities? What's your vision on what's next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my vision is, that the phones are getting smaller in this case that we can fold it yeah so um i truly love the s24 um but it's it's, it's quite big yeah so it's a 6.8 inch uh, display um yeah. but it's not heavy uh, but it's just a big screen yeah and mm -hmm. um i also have my fold and the fold is for, for me the 
ultimately a productivity machine. Yeah, so you're just able um, to do everything just on the phone because you have the front display, which is a normal sized uh, shape of a, of, a, of a phone. And if you just unfold it, you have almost a, a small tablet in your hands. Mm. And um, every time, so you don't have to put, get out your, your tablet and you just have it in your pocket. Yeah. Um, so I'm pretty sure that the phones are getting smaller, but you can unfold it so you have more space on the screen. Um, I'm not sure that we will lose the phone at all. But this is just my opinion, my, my personal point of view, um, because the technique is crazy. Um, mm. we, are, we will see a lot of new uh, possibilities and um, yeah, we will see what, what will happen. What about AI? AI. Uh, I know that on the Galaxy S24, there's this new uh, AI feature. Uh, how do you see it evolve? in five to 10 years? So for me, it's not a, um, it's not a game changer now. It was a game changer some years ago. Um, yeah. So because I'm doing a lot of with my speech, so I'm talking with my technique. So I'm talking with my phone, I'm talking with my car, I'm talking with my system at home um, because I don't want to touch everything and to do everything. So um, it's a really, really good um, de development of, of the AI. And with the Galaxy AI, I'm saving so much time. So, for example, I don't have to read the whole article of a website. I just can tap on summarize it and I will just get the key points of this article. Um, mm. I'm able to get a, a transcript of my meeting. So if I'm sitting mm -hmm. with you in, in a room and we are talking uh, uh, together and uh, I get a summary of, of the of the meeting um, where everything what you said is, is uh, written down, everything what I said is written down. Mm -hmm. And every, everybody knows how, how painful it can be to write meeting notes if you're not doing it immediately after <laughs> yeah yeah and and with, with these tools it's really um so yeah, this really is cool. the present but i guess in five to ten years it will be much more than that definitely <laughs> definitely definitely um it will be so how do you see um, the interaction with ai through the smartphone i'm looking future? forward to it um i'm pretty sure that some people are scared and there are um scared about what can happen with ai that's um, understandable <laughs> yeah. but i had a really good um i had a podcast in german with uh with martin and um he was one of my guests and i was asking him are you afraid of ai or are you afraid of what will happen and he mm. said a really really good uh, point that he said um ai can be evil because AI are not human. <laughs> <laughs> so I would have um, said that human or uh, evil spe species. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> they turn everything into a bad thing. <laughs> Technology is agnostic, don't you? Think? Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, he said that um, um, uh, uh, AI is not human enough to be evil. Yeah. Mm. And this is what really uh, oh, that's interesting that way what, it was really impressive because um, and yeah so if you think about it it's really deep <laughs> it's really deep yeah, and it is y you have to be aware that okay so um, will one AI attack another AI for some reason I guess not mm. yeah, a yeah AI will not conquer AI will not. Yes. Uh, be racist or whatever it will it should stay it should stay neutral, neutral. Yes. Mm, yes interesting well we'll see how it evolves uh it evolves um i think the way i see the future is uh for the smartphone to be at the center of everything uh yes. kind of the the swiss knife that can yes be your desktop PC if you want, that can be your AI companion um, as well as your 
screen Do doctor which displays your netflix series your yeah, credit it's card also my, my your, doctor because all my health your doctor, status yeah. is also true, tracked true. by my phone yeah yeah and um this so is it's why the central tool yes for everything yeah it's more mm -hmm. than the second brain because um it's not only the second brain i would say it's the first brain because your, your phone knows more than your own brain because um i also had a, a speech about that um where i talked about that uh, i'm a really bad person in um uh in um so i i i can't see when i'm stressed yeah so i'm just working okay. working and i'm not i'm not able to get information in my head okay you are stressed just calm down and uh, get some uh, exercise or something else and uh, I'm so happy that my phone is telling me or my watch when, I, when I'm wearing my, my watch and they say hey yeah. you're stressed um, consider to uh, uh, to uh, take a break and so on and um, or just to analyze my sleep I'm not able to mm. uh, to analyze oh, my you sleep. Do that. yeah definitely With the, the ring now Samsung ring not yet <laughs> not yet I'm doing it uh, currently with my with my with watch, watch. but yeah. I will do it with the ring yeah because uh, I, mm. because it was also for me um, a difference to sleep with, with my watch on because I as usual I'm not wearing a watch wh while I'm sleeping mm. but I, I did it to improve my sleep and I really improved it and it was oh, um, yeah. for me now yeah and because uh, I, I was able to see in which uh, segments I was sleeping can I reach uh, the uh, the deep sleep and so on mm -hmm. and every morning I was getting uh, a report and uh, my watch or my, my Samsung health app was saying hey you can do this for improving this you can do this for do mm -hmm. improving this and I followed this and now I'm sleeping like a baby and it's really really good mm. so I guess it's your sleep assistant yes definitely <laughs> Definitely, and this is something that we cannot improve by ourselves. So, or f for me at least. So, I need really uh, Maybe um, a, a companion with meditation case. or a better, better. health uh, or food or you know. Yeah, it's it's a mix of of uh, some points. So, um, I started meditation five years ago, mm -hmm. um, and it it's it's amazing. I can really recommend it for for some people. I. I didn't believe on, on meditation because I was saying, hey, okay, yeah. this is just uh, some some uh, fancy stuff that you have to do. But no, it's really it's really helpful. And um, so, but meditation was was not the case. I was already doing it. For me, it was uh, the change of uh, the nutrition. So okay. um, no more junk food. Of, uh, yeah. So I was drinking a lot of uh, no more uh, coffee. German food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's. Um, it, it's uh, the problem with the caffeine so because oh. I was always able I was able to drink one liter of coffee and 20 minutes later mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep with no problem and I was just saying to myself okay it's not a problem I'm not um, not uh, uh, I, I don't have problem with, with caffeine so I can I can mm -hmm. sleep uh, with, without a problem but mm -hmm. um, even if you are able to sleep after drinking a lot of caffeine it doesn't help you to get into deep sleep so then okay. I yeah. changed it. I'm not drinking uh, caffeine um, uh, after 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Mm. And um, mm. this was really getting a much, much higher quality of my sleep. Yeah, mm. And this is something th th I was reading in my Samsung Health app. <laughs> it was working. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what was the technology that most amazed you in your career? In my career, it was truly yeah. Samsung DeX. So really? without a doubt, um, and I'm just not telling it because I'm uh, working for Samsung. Um, it was already when I was not at Samsung uh, because um, it then it was really possible to have a mobile only companion with you mm. and do everything on your phone or only with mm. your phone. And so I can't remember when I was buying my last PC. I can't remember it. Mm. Yeah, I I agree with you. Um, recently, AI ChatGPT works really well, and I'm amazed how quick the adoption is and how yeah. efficient it is to to well to 
to to help you every uh, on on a daily basis but yeah i i would have said the same samsung dex um is a true game changer that needs to be well discovered by public and um and i remember that at the time we had some uh attempts by microsoft with continuum we had uh, motorola which was the first company releasing the samsung dex like experience in 2011 2012. i had also um, that phone so that motorola phone with the matrix with the yeah 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 uh, correct and with this with this uh, docking uh, like a mirror book uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> nowadays and um but yeah it, so it, it was the really first steps and um it was not working quite nice yeah mm, it wasn't because at the time we had uh, one gig of ram uh, on the yes. smartphone now we can have 11 uh 12. 11 8 or 12 or 12. 16 <laughs> very soon <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah all right. And and th that's also the point. So uh, even if you imagine how fast these phones are and what you can do everything mm. with it, so I mm. really like to uh, cut videos and doing some uh, post productions and also, and I'm doing it on my phone. <laughs> so oh, really? I'm, I'm not working. I'm not working What's uh, on a on a big computer and I'm just doing everything mm. on my phone, and it's really yeah. working really good. What software do you use for uh, uh, video editing? So uh, my favorite one is InShot because it's okay. really fast and you can, it's really easy to use and really cool. Um, okay. But um, I also want to try um, DaVinci. Yeah. <laughs> DaVinci is really great. Yeah, yeah. Um, but not yet available, so but I hope that will be coming soon <laughs> mm. yeah 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 um well what's what's also, in your bag basically yeah what well, just i wanted to say is um yeah so uh, i hope that da vinci will be coming soon to android um but um uh, besides of InShot, i'm using adobe for, oh, for editing adobe. they released the adobe rush that was the name in mm -hmm. partnership with samsung a few years back and I tried it and it was crashing all the time. So I think they discontinued it. Oh, really? It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it it was say, because uh, they uh, had uh, to adapt to every phone and every type of, uh, of processor. And, you know, between yes. Exynos and Snapdragon, there are a lot of different. So it was a lot of work for them, I think. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. But mm. I, I'm still I'm really happy and I'm um, doing just also big projects and uh, what I wanted to say is it's it's amazing me so it's uh, really to see how fast you can compile a video on a mobile phone or on, on mm. my tab s9 so if I'm working on my tab s9 it's really really cool <laughs> yeah I agree so what's in your bag at the moment uh, when you travel <laughs> Um, first of all, it's my mirror book. Um, I'm a oh, huge really? fan of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So Appreciate I'm using it since uh, 2019. Okay. And um, it's really, really cool. I really love it because um, so you are on a on a on a fair, for example, or on a um, any kind of event, and you just have. Um, Maybe some some small desks or, or maybe in co a corner where you can sit and so on. And then um, if you're just putting out your mirror book, you have always power <laughs> because you have uh, a big uh, battery in it and you just uh, connect it with your with your phone um, and you have a whole desktop uh, in front of you. So this is for me really the, the, the best gadget in my in my uh, bag. And uh, besides that, I have. Yeah, for sure. A lot of uh, cables uh, and and uh, uh, adapters, and um, also my mic. What, what I'm using at the moment. Okay. <laughs> what what for it? Because you interview people in the street, or no? So um, I'm using it uh, if I'm doing my webinars or if I'm doing some live streams. Mm, 
Oh, really? And uh, if I have some some more um, people besides me, then I'm just getting them also the and the mic, and then uh, okay. they will also get the, the second one, and then they can have a chat with me in a high quality. So you don't have to flip mm. the phone around all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's much better than uh, the 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 phone's microphone, even if it's already uh, great. I mean. Yeah, I, I, I have a, a, a rock band and uh, just to do demos, we just put the phone and, and record. And at the end, you exactly. have something that you can hear. And, you know, even if it's not perfect to listen every day, but you have yeah, something yeah. to remember, you know. Yeah. It's and also with the distance. Yeah. So um, if you are uh, recording something, um, <coughs> so I was just doing a podcast uh, last week uh, with uh, our partners, Imperium. Um, mm. And I, I was just attaching my S24 on a, on a tripod, and we were sitting uh, on uh, on a on a couch, and so this was a quite huge uh, distance. And then, yeah, you, you are really happy to have some wireless uh, uh, mics right. where you can just uh, catch the, the audio. <laughs> mm -mm. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, I think uh, this uh, will end the interview part but then we'll talk about new tech but i have uh, two more questions uh well do you have a book recommendation uh these days and what's your favorite podcast yeah so my current book what i'm reading is um from and the name is a little bit uh, um, complicated um but the title of the book is work life harmony and um okay. it's a really good book about? so it's talking about the case and also the problem that i had the past couple of years that i was all, always chasing the work life balance yeah so you're mm -hmm. all, always trying to balance your private life and and your work life and that was the wrong approach so the better approach is to have a work-life harmony. So where your work life and your private life is in harmony. So you can mm. uh, create um, a good environment where you can um, get both sides in it. Mm. And there are a lot of tips in it um, and recommendations. And um, it's really, really good because it's also um, getting into the point that you can also doing everything on your phone. So it's really, really... <laughs> Uh, near this case because you have your work profile, you have your private profile on on Android with Android Enterprise, and um, mm. you you can have the uh, choice where you want to uh, just um, uh, shut down the work profile and when you yeah. uh, activate it again. And this is also where you can start a harmony. So you don't have mm. to work nine to five. So maybe you have to work to, from nine to, uh, to eleven. And then you have to do something private and then you can start again uh, from three to seven, for example. Yeah. Mm. And this is the harmony w which is uh, described in this book. And um, I really like it. Okay. Maybe I should read it because I'm really in balance. My life is like <laughs> wake up between eight to 10, um, work on my phone in bed <laughs> yeah. until I find motivation to go to the computer uh, uh, and when I say computer I mean the, the mirror dock <laughs> uh, and the big screen and then I start working and uh, sometimes uh, sometimes I do a break uh, on the afternoon and uh, basically I work till I don't know 1 a.m. but you know sometimes I just uh, play video games and then I have an email at uh, 11 PM and I take it or a call at midnight with the U S and so basically I work, I'm on duty all the time. Yes. <laughs> it's like being a doctor. Um, and even holidays are like this. I, I remember a, a road trip I did in, in Japan, which was supposed to be, uh, well, holidays. And, uh, I had my mirror book in the car working, you know, kind of, uh, <laughs> very often <laughs> so i'm never in full holidays and never in full break or full rest <laughs> so i need this book yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, and, you, and, you will send me the link and that's the, and that's 
Yeah, so and, and that's the point. So um, so you have to uh, the right to choose when you want to do some private thing, uh, some uh, business things mm. or business related things. Because as you are always on duty, so so am I too. So yeah. um, I'm available at uh, 12 uh, p.m. Uh, the same as uh, uh, at six uh, six in the morning, uh, six a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So uh, and this is w where I also can choose. Okay, now now I have to go uh, appointment at the doctor or doing something private or getting my kids out of the school and so on. And uh, so this is the uh, right to choose what you are doing. And um, so I will send you the link to the to the book. So yeah, I totally really appreciate it. <laughs> but I agree with you. I think it's uh, it's. Uh... It's a choice that we made to just have the freedom to to decide ourselves and not have a, a rhythm that is imposed nine yes. to five every day yes. for the rest yes, of yes. your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very interesting. And uh, what's your favorite podcast? Yeah, so uh, I just um, want to get the title right. So okay, the name, uh, yeah. My the podcast um, I'm listening and I'm a huge fan of it. It's a psychology of cybercrime podcast. All right. Yeah. So, so you are hosted... one of the of people who watch uh, crime uh, reconstitution on TV and stuff <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so when I'm watching, I, I like to watch some some uh, crime series, um, but. I'm not doing it a lot because uh, I don't watch a lot of TV. But um, this podcast is from Mark T. Hoffman, and mm -hmm. um, I really like him. He's a really good guy. Um, the podcast is also in English, so I can recommend it uh, for Brilliant. everybody. Yeah. Um, and it's really interesting to get the stories uh, for somebody. So one of the uh, episodes uh, was um, he interviewed um, a guy who was working uh, in the IT security, but uh, he also worked for Anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so this is really, um, yeah, crazy. And uh, why they are doing this and uh, what is the psychology uh, of, of, a, of a hacker? So um, are they white hackers? Are they... Uh, 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 white hats, black, hat. black hats, or mm -hmm. something in between, and um, it's really, really interesting. So I can recommend it for everybody who is working in IT. Great, great. great, great. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Daniel. Daniel. I think we are going to talk about, well, what's happening in the world. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm back. So um, now I wanted to comment the the news, the tech news. Um, they want to mine helium three on the moon, and there's a company they rose uh, fifteen million dollars uh, to to do so. <laughs> that's that's tremendous. I think that's a crazy. That's a crazy project. It's a really crazy project, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, two of blue but, are but totally interesting, yeah. former Yeah. President Rob Meyerson and chief architect Gary Lay have started a company that seeks to extract helium 3 on lunar surface, return to Earth and sell it for applications here. The company has operated in stealth since its founding in 2022, but it emerged on Wednesday by announcing it has raised 15 million dollars adding to the previous round of angel investment. So what do you think uh, about this kind of project? And uh, I guess uh, space exploration, is it a nope or a dope for you? <laughs> I would say it, it's dope uh, because technically it's uh, really interesting how they want to achieve this. Um, but I'm also pretty sure that 50 million is uh, not enough. <laughs> so I guess they w would need some more money. <laughs> totally agree. <laughs> totally agree yeah um, maybe that's the beginning but even for I mean I don't I don't think the first fundraising of uh, SpaceX was 15 million 
<laughs> so they would need a lot more. But yeah, uh, yeah I, I've uh, I've watched a documentary Definitely. about um, a startup. Actually, there are many, but uh, who wants to go to different asteroids uh, around the um, um, solar system uh, to extract minerals? And it will take maybe 20, 30 years for them to achieve that. But the, the natural resources that are there are tremendous, more than on Earth. So, and they want to do that with um, um, drones, <laughs> autonomous, wow. autonomous drones. Okay. So you, you would be in favor of uh, space exploration and with drones. Human, okay. human going to Mars and, and be um, not a one planet race. You, you, would, uh, you would consider that? It's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine. Um, but yeah, why not? Hmm. Because people sometimes they say, yeah, but we have enough problems uh, on Earth. <laughs> yeah, but maybe it's, uh, it's uh, easily, uh, easier to um, let the problems behind us <laughs> and creating new ones. <laughs> true, true. So the ne next article is about um, the new technology by OpenAI called Sora, Sora, uh, and it's um, it's an Sora, article from yeah. The Verge. Uh, OpenAI chief technology officer Mira Murati says Sora will be av available this year, and that it could be a few months. So I guess that's good news. Um, we are trying to figure out how to use this technology as a tool that people can edit and create, Murati tells the journal. Um, when pressed on what data OpenAI used to train Sora, Murati didn't get too specific and seemed to dodge the question. I'm not going to go into the detail of the data that were used, but it was publicly available licensed data, she said. Murati also says she isn't sure whether it used video from YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. She only confirmed to journal that Sora used content from Shutterstock with which OpenAI has a partnership. <laughs> I think that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah. for you, is it a nope or a, a dope, uh, this kind of technology? I would say it's also dope uh, because um, When you remember the first video that OpenAI generated with Will Smith eating spaghetti? Will Smith and spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, quite funny. And to see uh, which quality they are now getting after one year. Uh, so just imagine what they will get in one, two, three, four years. Um, mm, that's crazy. Yeah, it's to totally crazy. Um, I like it, but it's also the point where you have to yeah consider um what will happen in general in this case mm. so um do we will have some uh, um, uh, actors anymore or we will do anything with ai um mm. will we have some some authors uh, so where the scripts are coming from mm. or uh, will everything will the whole film be scripted by ai so it's really, so really all the creative uh, work basically yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I would say it's it will be helpful for smaller productions, for some, for example, training videos. Yeah, um, mm. you you, are, you can hardly find somebody in a in a company who is uh, ready to step in front of a camera and to talk about some topics to train uh, the, the the staff or something else. So if you do it by by text only and um, get a, a Uh, a video in English, in German, in French, in, in Spanish, and, and different languages, um, it will be a huge time saver, I would say. Hmm, very interesting. And I'm trying to find the right tab. Um, oh, yeah. So then there's a, it's not an article, it's more like an essay uh, from uh, Hugo Barra, who is a former head of Oculus at Meta. 
and he wrote this long, long, long essay article mm -hmm. um, stating the fact that, uh, well, Apple is doing good with uh, the Apple Vision Pro, that it's uh, kind of um, um, the, the best dev kit they could come with, but it, it should be considered only as a dev kit, development kit. And that um, from what I've seen from um, internal uh, meta discussions, this, uh, the arrival of uh, Apple Vision Pro, this will have the same effects that um, the Android and Apple uh, fight war for over uh, a decade. So he's saying that Apple will get the same market share as um, as they have on a smartphone than on, on uh, a Vision Pro. And Meta will be the Android of uh, uh, VR, AR, mixed reality headsets. And I thought this was really interesting uh, that he, he think of, uh, of, of this comparison. Mm -hmm, so what do you mm -hmm. think and is Apple Vision Pro a nope or a dope for you? So I was not reading the, the article, so this is uh, quite new for, uh, uh, for me. Um, so where was it published? On, on, on which side was it published, this article? So it's, uh, so it's his, his own website. It's a media, ah, it's on his a own media website. Thing. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm uh, surprised that I was not um, getting some uh, articles about uh, that point. Yeah, so the Android moment for, for, for Quest. Uh, hmm, I would say I'm, I'm too far away to, to get a statement here. I don't. I don't have a, a statement at the moment. Oh, so for you, it's wait and see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think people would accept to work with a headset on on their head? Yeah. So um, I was working with uh, VR headsets uh, the last uh, couple of years, and re realizing also some um, projects uh, projects uh, with. Um, with VR headsets and AR headsets, because mm -hmm. um, so they were running with, with Android, and uh, so if you're working uh, on an engine, for example, and uh, the um, the technic guy is uh, wearing this uh, um, uh, headset, then he can see, okay, this is the uh, pump, and this is the um, uh, the engine for that and so on so the description of it so it was a really uh, a game changer in this case for some specific mm -hmm. projects where you have to know a, a, a really big knowledge about the engine or about the, the stuff you're working on um, yeah. but in in the private sector i'm not sure it, it's yeah <laughs> to, yeah to, so to... it will be a niche basically for you that's mm. what you're saying for now yes for now yes Hmm. Yeah, because we have to be sure that we can wear it with not a really so, such a big uh, headset, which is heavy and so on. Um, and um, so for my, <laughs> my my own problem is I'm, I have motion sickness, so I'm not able to uh, work uh, on a display uh, while driving or sitting in a car and, and, uh, and working on, on, a, on, a, on a display. So I have motion sickness, but I can do it on a train. It's crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> um, so I, I, I'm, yeah, having some struggles with it, and to get. So I'm just wearing my my uh, normal glasses the whole day, and so the normal glasses are also a problem for me. So I'm mm. trying to getting rid of it with a with a laser operation of my eyes and so on. <laughs> so I so I not cannot um, think about it to wear uh, glasses or heavier glasses the whole day. Mm. So what about uh, the 
USB-C uh, AR glasses uh, such as this one. Uh, I think it's the TCL, but there's also Rocket doing one and Unreal. You just put them, it's like real glasses, and then you connect mm -hmm. them to USB-C to your smartphone, and you have basically decks popping in uh, virtual or uh, augmented reality. Have you tried it? I, I I didn't try this one. I tried the Ray Ban glasses. Um, okay. Uh, so you could display uh, Ray Ban uh, Dex on on Ray Ban. Mm, no, it wasn't able for for Dex. So no, it's it's, it's a, a it's it's a, a own system by by Ray Ban. Hmm. Um, but yes, um, it's um, yeah the same problem. It's it's the weight for, for me. <laughs> hmm. Okay, but the the Ray Ban one is just a uh, to record the video, isn't it? Yes, uh, to record and yeah. uh, to take some pictures and uh, to get some notifications uh, in in your um, in your glasses. So yeah, only that. Mm. Yeah, but you should definitely try these ones, the Unreal or Rocket or TCL. Um, okay, it's it, it's worth the experience. So you have like real have you glasses. tried it? Yeah, yeah, I have some. I have. Ah, I can send okay. It to you. Okay. <laughs> and um, <laughs> uh, the, the only problem I see, and I think, give me a second. Yeah, it was in the comments. So really, re really interesting. Um, so I have the Rocket Max. The negative off the top of my head are fuzzy edges, corners, unless you squeeze the glasses as close to the eye as possible. True. Mm -hmm. Always some lens flare, especially on dark black background. You can't really use them when your head is moving because the vibration needs to sit still. And this is uh, the point I agree the most because when I was in the train, it was unuse unusable. It was a discomfort. Mm -hmm. um, they're not very good g for gaming, TV, monitor. It's just better because you see nothing, things more. This drains battery okay. unexpectedly quick. They're really, really comfortable in the bed because you can basically watch TV in any neck position you want. And that's true. I, I would agree with that. I watched oh. uh, the show, um, what's the name? Uh, Darde, Darde, Dare, Daredevil. That's the name in English. Okay. <laughs> I watched it entirely <laughs> with uh, Unreal because I was trying for two, three weeks uh, with a, a Bluetooth keyboard and, and a mouse. To, I, I tried to work and entertain with only that index and on my smartphone um, and yeah it was a discomfort when trying to work or or entertain properly but when you are in your bed in, in well in the black of the of, of the of the room then it's fine it's fine and okay I, I okay. really wanted to check if this is the future or if this is just another gadget and I think it it, it has some future so we will see. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but I guess we will have maybe um, other techniques. Uh, so for the moment, I, I can't imagine, but yeah, we will see. I guess we will have maybe something like holographics or something else to work with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> and uh, well, to finish this news review, what did you think about the Motorola concept? Is it uh, no nope or dub? <laughs> <laughs> mm, I have to be careful what I will say now. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a competitor, yeah, so, You're right? So foldables are for us not new, um, and this was just um, maybe I would say a, a marketing gag. Um, to get yeah. some attention, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's, it's nothing new. That's yeah. what I want to say. <laughs> okay, so it brings nothing new on the table. It's just uh, to display the what they what they can do. It's a, it's a glass show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so 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 this kind of, of of folding is nothing new. So it's just in, in the other way. Um, but mm -hmm. you have to consider: does it make sense? So in durability. Mm -hmm. And for you, does it make sense to have uh, this on your wrist in the, in the future? No. 
Okay, interesting. <laughs> I I had this uh, reflection also a few years back. Uh, if life would be like in you know Star Trek or uh, or Star yeah. Wars, uh, you do like this and you have everything but, on your wrist. Um, but you you showed it right. You showed it right. It's not in this mm. case. Yeah, it's more in in this way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I don't think it's natural now that, that now that we have smartphones. I don't think it's natural to do like this for thirty seconds or a minute or five minutes. You know, to do yes. something, you do yeah. that to watch the time. That's it, and for yeah, half a for second. two seconds, and then that's it. Yeah, <laughs> and then you get fatigued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> so, photo for smartphones in general are totally dope. Definitely, mm. uh, I said it already. Mm. Yeah, but uh, this concept is just yeah, uh, uh, yeah, just a marketing hit. I would say. Mm. Agree, agree. So let's talk but about. But it's my personal uh, opinion. Yeah, I, of course, it does not involve Samsung in any way. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about uh, Samsung Dex in in the professional world. Um. So this is a video we have with police forces in the UK. Did you know mm -hmm. um, Samsung Dex was used by the UK police forces? Uh, yes, yes, and also by the by the uh, US. Uh, so the LAPD is also working with it. LAPD in Chicago, I think. Uh, Chicago, yeah. Sorry, yeah, Chicago. Oh yeah, and uh, maybe Atlanta and LAPD very soon. <laughs> yeah, um, maybe. Well. <laughs> They they've increased their their productivity by a lot, and uh, and I think it's worth talking about it because um, they have the same um, constraints and and use case as as many other uh, work, uh, many other companies. You know, it's just operator on the field, uh, whether it's for a technician or whether it's for well, an equivalent would be a firefighter. It's the, basically the same job. You go from yes. point A to B to C to solve problem. <laughs> and uh, I think it's uh, well, it's it, I, I didn't expect at first that it would be police forces using DEX uh, for, for well as uh, the first uh, early adopters. W would you agree with that? I mean, who do, do you think it, it would have been? So uh, first of all, yeah, it, it, it's more so we are calling it the, the, the white color workers, so not the blue color workers. So the white color workers are that we're working in an office, visiting customers and uh, doing some, some meetings and so on. Um, but the uh, blue color worker, and this, this is what I'm working on the, the last couple of years. Um, yeah. That's an interesting point that they are using Samsung decks in, in, in different ways. Um, and, and most in common because um, they have to carry around uh, the, the, um, uh, the technique and they have to be flexible wherever they are. And also for the IT department, it's, it's only one point they have to manage. So it's only the phone they have to manage. They don't have to manage also a notebook or also a, a, a tablet and so on. So it's just the phone and you have everything on one device you can yeah. take the pictures of an accident, for example. You can take uh, pictures of uh, some suspects and, and get mm. these uh, uh, information directly into your environment um, just with one device. Mm. And um, That's what we call tech minimalism here. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And you it don't have to be aware that uh, to, to charge your phone, to charge your notebook, to charge your uh, tablet. You just have to charge uh, your uh, phone and your mirror book is almost every, uh, always uh, charged because the huge battery is also charging your phone. So it's, yeah, totally nice. It reminds me of this, uh, this, uh, this uh, setup. <laughs> yes. I don't know if you can see. It's minimalistic, you know. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So even if this keyboard is, not, I have the same one, um, I'm not quite satisfied because the quality is not that good. Um, 
but there are, I have to try different other uh, affordable uh, uh, keyboards. Um, and then I will also try to get this kind of minimalism with my fold. But as I said, I'm so happy with my mirror book uh, because you have a, yeah, always power and you can do everything with it. In a huge, you know in, a, in a bigger screen. The crazy thing about uh, this guy uh, who, who has his, this setup is that he upgraded his um, firmware, uh, Samsung firmware for a custom one. And he's mm -hmm. able to have decks on the small screen of the foldable and not oh, display nice. it somewhere else. So okay. basically he has decks everywhere, like on the tablet. I think you get, you do that on the tablet. Yeah, we're doing it on tablets. Yeah, right. Mm. I think that's great. And um, I've seen on the Samsung's forum that uh, many people are asking for this feature to come also on smartphones. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we are, so we are listening to our customers, and um, as you have seen with One UI six, uh, we have also doing some improvements in, in Dex, so that uh, the environment on the tablet is the same uh, also in Samsung Dex if you're using Dex on uh, on screen. And um, yeah, so if we are getting enough feedbacks in this case, uh, maybe uh, we we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any? tips and tricks for decks that you use every day that are, that are improving the experience, uh, giving some comfort to the user? Um, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not no rocket science. Uh, it's just uh, easy. Um, so I can really recommend to use a really good mouse, a really good Bluetooth mouse, <laughs> um, because it's, it's just frustrating if you have... Uh, it, so I have to explain a little bit. So. The, the Swabians, so the Southwest Germans, so where I'm coming from, we are really well known uh, to be like Scottish people, so we don't like to spend money. So we are buying uh, cheap mouses, for example, and so on. And uh, if you're buying a cheap mouse and it's, uh, yeah, it's not comfortable and it's, I have an old Bluetooth standard and so on, it's not working nicely. This is frustrating. <laughs> so my first tip at all is to really buy a really good mouse. Um, I have my favorite ones. Um, don't want to make some advertisements, but uh, yeah, if you are buying, you uh... <laughs> so I really like uh, uh, mouses from Logitech. Yeah, so uh, these the are best. really good. And um, yeah. so I'm using it uh, on my uh, yeah. For example, I, I this have is the Microsoft, the, uh, Microsoft one. Yeah, the Arc, the one that can go like this flat. Yes. But is this and it's for not Microsoft? very practical. Yeah, it's Microsoft. It's not very yeah. practical, but I really like the design of it. And yes. there's no, you know, side buttons, which I miss, but I like the design. So I took it <laughs> instead of the Logitech. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have the problem I can work with. with, with I have the same one. Um, I can work with it maybe for 30 minutes or maybe, maybe an hour with that. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing really some exciting stuff in Excel or PowerPoint, then um, yeah, it's frustrating. <laughs> so this is why I like to use my, my uh, MX Vertical from Logitech. And uh, this is really comfortable and I really like yeah. it. Yeah. So this yeah. is the, the tips that you give for Samsung DeX use, uh, a good mouse. And you know, yeah, even on, on lab docs, uh, whether it's Mirrorbook, NextDoc, Perfect, I think everybody's complaining about the, the trackpad experience. And uh, really? um, yeah, yeah, often. Because um, before um, on, on PC, you know, it was a different experience of trackpad every time you acquired a new laptop. Uh, because you change the brand and even the the same brand could change the design and sometimes it's in a position sometimes it's in another position sometimes it's yeah. big sometimes it's small and you have to you, you you had to readapt every time yes and i think it has the same effects but in a world where the trackpad on the lap on the modern laptop is uh, standardized and it's almost every time in the same position and same size and and it's at its best, you know, it works well. But yeah, even I yeah. complain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I, I'm working, I'm fine with, with the touchpad on my mirror book. 
Um, so if I just want to have a quick look or doing some something quick, I'm just using mm. the, the, uh, the touchpad. But uh, as I said, if I'm working deeper in Excel or PowerPoint or in emails, then I have yep. to like to my, to have my um, big mouse. And yeah, yeah so this me. is yeah yeah. So this is my first uh, recommendation. And um, the second recommendation, I al already mentioned it. Um, to use uh, a TV which is already there. So for example, in the hotel room. Yeah. Mm. So. Um, Every time I'm telling people about that case that I'm using the TV in the in the hotel room, um, almost every time I say, "Oh, this is really good," and I will try it and so on, and then yeah. they come back to me and say, "Yeah, this was a really nice uh, idea." And um, yeah, just to lay down on the bed, have a big screen in front, working with an external mouse and keyboard, um, this is really good. Mm. Yeah, I would agree. Um, f for me, if I have a, a recommendation, it would be, you know, um, the, the fact that you can have your um, cursor, your mouse, uh, going from one screen to the other. Mm -hmm. I think this is a game changer. And give me a second, I will show you what I mean what I exactly. Mean exactly. Sorry for that. So this is the setup I use. Okay, much better. So here, the 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 mouse could go from the big screen to the small screen. You know. Yeah. Sorry for the video quality, but um, yeah, this is how I work every day and. It's just so practical, definitely. Really practical yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you yeah. have a, a second screen, basically. Mm. Definitely. And, yeah. Um, yep. and yeah, go ahead. Yeah, and you can just use your keyboard and your mouse. Uh, so if you just want to um, enter a, a WhatsApp or, or something else, just go over. Mm. You don't have to open the application in Index. Totally. That, this is really cool. Definitely. Yeah, it's just brilliant because I have. Uh, Usually, the way I use it is with the WhatsApp or uh, Spotify. When on the big screen, I have a better productivity tool. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely, uh, definitely. And there's one accessory I would like to show you. Um, and for that, I will s switch to the other camera. Be right. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, great. Uh, so it's called the phone side. It's a French company doing that. So now we don't hear you. Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, now I yeah. was just taking a, a device. So let me open it. It's, and it's a, a clamp. It's a clamp, okay. but adjustable one. Like this. Oh, sorry. Like this. Okay. And this is so practical. Let me bring the S8. It's so practical, especially when you use the you use it your your phone as a second display. So it's like this. And then you adjust the size, and there you go, and it holds. Oh, okay. And then you take your laptop or your uh, laptop because uh, you, it, it's originally made for a, a laptop. And then you put it here like this. Ah, nice. You again. Yeah. And it this works cool. like a charm. Yeah. And I really use it uh, when I travel in a train, in a, in a cafe, or very practical. So I recommend this phone side. It's called. Really cool, very cool. It's available in Germany already. 
Uh, well, you, you can, yeah, they can ship anywhere in Europe, I think. Cool. All right. Um, well, I think that this is the end of this first podcast. Do you have any, anything more to add, uh, Daniel? It was a great pleasure to have you. Yeah, so it, it's uh, a pleasure for me to be your first uh, guest in your um, mobile-only show. And uh, I really want to say thank you because, um, I, as you know, I, I'm a big fan of your, of your product and uh, I really like you as a person. So I really appreciate it uh, to be here. Well, thank you, Daniel. It was an honor to have you on this first. And uh, well, I hope uh, you enjoyed people uh, having Daniel and this uh, really nice discussion that lasted uh, an hour and a half. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, you take care, Danielle, and see you next time. See you. Thank Cheers. you. Bye. Bye-bye.